America, folks in the Bahamas, folks in Canada. Understand we have a whole lot of friends from Jamaica. Welcome. And those of us from the Caribbean Union Conference. Welcome to our president, Dr. Kern Tobias, Secretary Johnson, Frederick and Treasurer, Pastor Bertie Henry. And to all our presidents and to all our pastors and to all our members, we welcome you here tonight. What a great time we are having in the presence of God. The sign show that his coming is near. Soon Jesus is going to come. And I don't want to be left out. I want to be ready to meet him when he comes. Thank those of you who sang special music and the praise team. And we thank all the tech teams and all the technicians. All the communication directors, all the assistants to the president. Hey, may God bless you. We invite you now please to sing with us. You know, we are just singing all different kinds of songs, you know. We walk with the feelings and the spirit. Amen. Tonight, you are God alone. You're not a God created by human hands. Sing with us, please, in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. Can you bow your heads and pray with me, please, Father God? May you take control tonight. There's every listening ear, every home that is listening to the message, that will listen to the message tonight, every church, every individual. Oh God, this is your word, and you have promised that it will not return unto you void. So bless us, Lord. May this be done to give you glory. In Jesus' name we ask. Can everybody say? Amen. 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 Well, our topic is there on the screen. And it is captioned, The Disciples of Felix. <laughs> mm. The Disciples of Felix. Yes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to begin by saying that Marcus. What did I say? Marcus. Yes, Marcus Antonius Felix. You know, my name is Claudius Cornelius. <laughs> they are Roman names. <laughs> yes, sir. Marcus Antonius Felix was the Roman procurator of, Jude, of the Judean province. Hmm? Yes. And although Luke does not paint a flattering picture of Felix, listen to me, please. He was well known. He was what? Well known. Ah, as a particularly bad governor of Judah. Mm. Lord, my Lord. Mm. He was appointed as governor of Judah about AD 52. 
by the Emperor Claudius. Was that you, preacher? <laughs> Was that you, preacher? <laughs> no, not me. Uh, Claudius loved the Felix. <laughs> Who was, who was a favorite in the court. And this led Felix to believe that he could do as he pleased. Mm. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. Felix had a reputation for cruelty. Oh, my God. He paid an assassin to kill the high priest, Jonathan, who had complained to Rome about him. Mercy. <laughs> You're a bad boy. <laughs> Felix was married to Drusilla, the daughter of Herod Agrippa the mm. first. Is anybody here? Yes, sir. It says in Acts twenty-four and verse twenty-four. Reader, what it says. And after certain days, mm. when Felix came with his wife Drusilla, yes, please, which was a Jewess, he sent for Paul and heard him concerning the faith in Christ. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I read that Felix persuaded Drusilla persuaded who Drusilla then about uh, 20 years old to leave her husband to marry him wow. mm. <laughs> I tell you uh, the man who rose to power the scholars say forgot where he came from hmm. he was by by birth a slave but he rose to, to, to little less than, than regal power. Are you listening to me here today? Yes, Please. sir. Yes, sir. Felix was loaded. In fact, Felix was loaded by the emperor with military honors. What kind of honors? Military honors. And among other marks of favor and distinction was made governor of Judah. Mm. I learned that Felix was... Married three times. Wow. His first wife is Cleopatra. Mm. His second wife, not known. <laughs> <laughs> and the third was Drusilla. And so ladies and gentlemen, note here, he was an immoral man. What kind of man? Immoral man. An, an immoral man who had no time for God. Mm. So sad. Paul knew that. And he was not afraid to confront the leader. Mm. Hey, as men of God, as preachers of God, we cannot be afraid. That's why as I stand here, I got to preach the truth. I got to tell you what the Bible says. Yes, sir. I can do no different. Amen. I will not go against the word of the living God. I prefer to die. Crucify me. Put me on a cross. But I am bound to preach the truth of the living God. Because this is a religious discourse. My focus is not on the history of Felix. Whether good or bad. 